<laughs> what is up guys, Dotto here. Welcome to rebirth of my YouTube. I know it's been a while since I posted anything on this channel. I have so many updates. I wanna fill you guys in on what I've been up to and uh, things are great here. So uh, let's not wait any longer and get started. So I decided to shoot with my DSLR and a really nice microphone to see uh, you know, if I can put out some quality content. I need to revive my YouTube and start really you know, getting back into the groove of things. Uh, I've been doing a lot in the shop. I installed new LED lights to brighten things up in here and it's actually giving me a tan probably at the moment. There are some bikes in the shop. Some of them you remember, other ones you may not. I will go over that as well. The Build Series bike is currently not here. However, we are doing a giveaway in the shop, I believe. So you guys will see that in another episode, I'm pretty sure. All right, so I got a lot to cover, but first I would like to pour a little glass of whiskey so I can get my night started. Now, as some of you may know, I uh, have an e-commerce store and I sell cocktail smoker, metal, minimalist wallets, uh, metal business cards, and a whole slew of other things. My e-commerce uh, URL is www.dotomateshop.com. Um, I'll always have the information linked in the description below. So if you like something on the website and you would like to support, greatly appreciate it. All right, so here I have a well-used cocktail smoker. They hold up really well and they have these stainless steel uh, inserts. And essentially how this works is you set it over the glass and you put some wood chips or shavings in this little pocket here. And you torch it and it smokes the glass or the cocktail inside the glass. And then I also make and sell these cool coasters. There's a couple of different designs. This is one of them. Um, and they, uh, they're also lids that cap off your glass so the smoke can permeate the, um, the surface or the liquid inside it much better. I'm gonna smoke the glass first and then I'm gonna pour some whiskey and then I'm gonna smoke that as well. This is kiln dried oak. We're gonna do a little uh, makers. We're gonna smoke it again. Take this smoker off, put the lid on. Now, I have two of them here, but you can double up one as lid and a coaster. I'm going to let this permeate a little bit while I do a couple of other things and we'll come back to the whiskey. If you guys never had smoked whiskey before you should definitely try it. Check this out. And cheers. Oh, that's good. All right so updates. Real quick, um, I started my YouTube channel a while ago and my intention was to have uh, build series, custom fabrication work, pretty much anything goes. So I had a couple of different videos posted on there and then life happened. So a few years back I went through a divorce and it really took me back in so many different ways but I continued to uh, work full time and do a lot of things on the side. I did a lot of work in the shop and, you know, kept my head above the water, so to say. And, you know, all, all those things and launching my business really showed me that regardless of what you go through in life, you can still pull through. I ended up keeping the house and my shop, obviously. And uh, uh, since then I got remarried and uh, we just had a beautiful girl and you know life is great all right so let's get to it tonight i have a little bit of work to do on jared's dad's ducati uh, diablo i'm gonna be doing a chain 
and oil change, I believe. So I'm gonna go through the bag of goodies and check out what's there, and then we'll put the bike up on the lift and kind of go through everything. All this stuff was purchased at our local Yamaha dealer. They are actually now Warhorse, um, Triumph, Yamaha, KTM, Aprilia, Ducati, they do it all. So you guys should check that out. I'll link their stuff in the description below as check well. They have some uh, really nice inventory right now. They're in the process of transitioning over to Warhorse. Um, so yay for Ducatis and other fun bikes. Up here in the ceiling, up recessed up in there, is a uh, hose reel for my air, as you can tell. So it's kind of hidden and out of the way. As soon as I went to mount it on my ceiling, I'm like, or the wall, I'm like, I'm gonna hit it. So it's pretty cool. You just kind of reach up there and it retracts. So. What I'm gonna do first after removing the key is put this puppy on a rear stand and then that will allow the rear wheel to spin freely um, undo the oil drain plug drain all the oil out of it let that kind of drip out as much as possible and then i'll start the oil change and i'll move on to the chain Next up is the chain. I have a Pitbull uh, single-sided swing arm stand for this Ducati, and uh, that's what I would recommend you buy if you don't already have one. fed the chain through. You need a specialty tool that looks something like this, uh, preferably with a beer bottle opener built in. <laughs> but this will allow me to turn the adjustment um, for the rear, uh, should be right behind here. And I uh, use a spanner to uh, adjust uh, the wheel back and forth in order to tighten or loosen the chain. I do have to grind one link out of the chain because it's a little too long. So I'm gonna do all that stuff and uh, show you the finished product. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this bike. Um, I bled the front brakes, went over all the torque specs on all the major bolts. The chain is installed and properly tightened and lubed. I also did the oil change and filter and uh, I serviced the screen, the metal screen, and there's a couple of loose things on the bike and I checked all the fluids and everything else. So she's good to go. I just have to uh, put some air in the tires and go for a ride and see how it is. If you enjoy the content, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, yell at me in the comments for something you think I did wrong, whatever the deal is, but uh, I would appreciate some kind of engagement and uh, we'll see you in the next one.